Hello and welcome class 7 students. Today in this class we are going to start a new formula from the algebra portion of your maths. Uh, a new formula that is uh, the product of the sum and the difference of two terms. Yes, I repeat the product of the sum and the difference of two terms. That is if the first term is A and the second term is B then the product of the sum and the difference of these two terms. These two terms, the, their sum and their difference and their product. That is A plus B into A minus B. This formula, if you don't write the uh, into sign, that is okay. That is also understandable. That is uh, A plus B into A minus B. This formula we are going to learn. So the product of the sum and the difference of two terms. And what is the formula? What is the result? That is the difference of the difference of the square of the two terms the difference of the square of the first term and the square of the second term that is the difference of a square and b square this formula we are going to start today so a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square product of sum of two term and difference of two term is equal to Difference of square of the first term and square of the second term. Now, if you ask for the derivation, how we are getting this derivation now? Simply if you multiply a plus b into a minus b, you are going to get a square plus a, a into b minus a into b minus b square. This you will get as a result if you multiply a plus b and a minus b. Now, by cancelling a plus b, plus ab and minus ab only remaining thing is thing is a square minus b square so you can see why we are how we are getting a square minus b square how a square minus b square is derived from a plus b into a minus b that is done over here i think you have understood the formula and its derivation now this formula, this formula is starting from the exercise 14 from your algebra portion of the book. Exercise 14 deals with, from exercise 14 onwards, this formula is starting. So we will start solving exercise 14 today. So let's see how, how this formula works in different sums. Suppose the first sum of exercise 14. Now exercise 14 the first sum is given to you as 2x plus 5 in bracket into 2x minus 5 in bracket. You can see how and which one is the first term and second term. First you will identify the first term and the second term. Here 2x is the first term and 5 is the second term. So you can see that it is the product of sum and difference of two terms. Here the two terms are 2x and y. Here the first term is 2x. So 2x is equal to a. And 5 is the second term. That is 5 is equal to b. Now what was the derivation of this formula? We will apply the formula a plus b into a minus b over here. And write the answer and get the result as a square minus b square. That is the square of the first term and the square of the second term. The subtraction of the square of the first term and the square of the second term will be the result. So here in this sum it will be, here in this sum it will be the square of the first term that is 2x square minus 5 whole square. 2x square minus 5 whole square 2x whole square minus 5 whole square so what is the answer that we are getting finally finally we are getting 4x square because 2x into 2x gives you 4x square minus 25 5 into 5 25 so this is the answer 4x square minus 25 is the answer of this sum you can see very easily how i have derived uh, this sum how I, am, I have done this sum here 2x is the first term and 5 is the second term. I have told you the result or the derivation will be square of the first term minus square of the second term. So square of the first term is 2x and square of the second term is 5 squared that is 
answer we are getting as 4x square minus 25. This is the answer and the sum is just like this. We have to apply the formula a plus b into a minus b over here. We need to apply the formula of a plus b into a minus b over here. And write the answer. Simply by doing another sum. We will understand the formula, the use of the formula. Now in the second sum it is given that 3x minus 4y. 3x minus 4y and 3x plus 4y. This is given. Here also we have to apply the formula a plus b into a minus b. This formula we will apply and do the sum. We will not do simple multiplication. We will not do simplification or simple multiplication. We will apply the formula. All these sums are based on formula. So simple multiplication will not help you. You have to apply the formula of the product of the sum and the difference of two terms. So that means a plus b and a minus b this formula you have to apply over here in this sum and get the answer. The answer what you will get? The answer derived will be a square minus b square. In this form it will be derived. So answer will be 3x square minus 4y square. 3x square minus 4y square. That is square of the first term minus square of the second term. So what we are getting here 3x into 3x gives you 9x square and 4y into 4y gives you 16y square. So uh, this is the sum. In this way we will solve the sum. Another sum if it is given that suppose sum number 3 it is given that minus x plus y and x plus y to confuse you just it is given in reverse order you have to arrange this what you will do you will write this you will arrange in your own way and make it like make it similar like a plus b and a minus b x plus y will be written as it is but here you can see minus x plus y. If you can change the position of y and x, you will get y minus x. That is plus y minus x. And here also you can write x plus y, you can write as y plus x. So y minus x and y plus x. We have just arranged the position of x and y to make it look like a plus b and a minus b. Now we can easily apply the formula of a plus b into a minus b. That is a square minus b square. So here a means y. The answer will be y square minus x square. In this way we are going to solve the sums. I hope whatever I have explained through these sums you have understood the applicability of the formula a square minus b square. In my next class I will come up with some more sums to clarify these formula. Till then goodbye.